thank you so much for taking some time with us. We're thrilled. I'm so excited to talk to you. Thanks for, I, thanks for doing this. I have to ask you, Mary, first of all, what does it feel like to co-write a movie and then go in there and steal the entire movie with your producer? <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, it, well, that really is so kind. I mean, I, I, it was such a joy to write that part because very early on, I expressed to Clea that um, I wanted to play the middle sister. And so we really wrote her with me in mind. And there are many details about Jane that <laughs> are true of me. And so, so she's very special to me. And it was um, every time I got to play her and like be as her interacting with all of these uh, other characters, it was just a blast. So I had so much fun. I was really excited to to see a movie that was centered around queer women and the, mm -hmm. the queer female experience, which I feel like we don't get to see. How did you and Clea approach yeah. the nuance of that kind of representation, the nuance of the coming out experience and the kind of spectrum of, of both of those things in writing this movie? Right. Well, Clea has had this idea for uh, um, a movie for a long time and she w we met working on Veep and she knew she wanted to write it with somebody uh, as a comedy it's always more fun to write that with <laughs> somebody yeah. um make sure it's funny you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. um yeah so so she asked me to write it with her and uh told me the idea and I I was um as such a fan of Clea as I was uh, on board from the beginning I would was over the moon to work with her in any capacity but the story itself was also so beautiful and it being a Christmas movie we're both big fans of holiday movies and and um yeah and I think you know it's it's inspired by her experiences uh and as somebody who has not had the experience of coming out and and uh I I really saw my role in the writing process as one of like I'm supporting telling this story and 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 that she also like came into the writing process knowing she was going to direct it so she she really had that vision uh and the, the guidance the whole way through the process so I really like um co-writing that with her I was very aware of like this this story is so significant it's something very personal to her and it's something that I want to help tell in the, in the best way I can. Well, I'm curious if we can just ask about the writing process itself, just sure. from the bones of it, because Sam and I like to, we like to write together sometimes, and, and you know that that can be, uh, a, a, you know, everybody does it differently. Were you guys in the room together? Were you sending pages back and forth? Were you on the phone? How, what was the process like? We were together, beginning to end. We were, we were together from the, the, yeah, every we would get together almost every day and just talk for hours and hours and hours. And um, we never like split up the work. We didn't go away and like, I'll take some scenes, she takes the others. We just combed through it. Um, and it, it took time, you know, and, and the thing that I learned from writing with Clea, who is so, has such clarity of voice and is holds everything to um everything that she makes to the highest standard wants wants the story to be as fully fleshed out and um thought through as it possibly can be and so we would just go through and just you know line by line page by page when we were in the phase where we were drafting it um yeah yeah it was and also like in that process what was interesting is when Clea asked me to write this with her, we didn't know each other <laughs> at all. <laughs> like we right. were practically strangers. So also another really special thing about this process with her was that we were becoming friends and she's one of the most important people in my life. Oh. And, and it, that happened over the course of writing this movie. So it's, it's a special movie and for so many reasons. And that's one of them. Oh, that's so heartwarming. I love <laughs> yeah. that. In, in that writing process, you, you mentioned that you kind of um, showed up to, to listen to Clea's experience regarding like queer feminine experiences. Mm -hmm. How much of a discussion was there about 
this being a love story about two women because you don't want to treat it as something you don't want to pigeonhole the movie um but i think there's probably some some added pressure to make sure that story is true and to make sure it's it's real to life yeah absolutely and i think i think that's why choosing to make it a holiday rom-com is was such a a, a great choice because the, those movies are are really special to us they they become they're comforting they're they're part of our holiday traditions they're very formative for us growing up and it's also a genre that we know so well because they they're movies that are so special to us so there are tropes and um and like rules that you play by within that genre and I've heard Clea talk about this a lot which I think is so great which is you know um how the most like a uh, daring thing you can do in, in, in having like being this um, groundbreaking movie of, of, about uh, a queer couple is to make that movie as like played by the rules that genre as it can be like it is a it is a universally relatable story and it is told through this new perspective that we haven't seen before. Um, and so, yeah, I think there is a lot of pressure to like, uh, it's it's the first of its kind, but n by no means, and hopefully definitely not the last of its kind. This is just the beginning of seeing these stories represented um, in this genre and all genres. But um, but yeah, you, you want to, you want to like be honest about that experience, but then also have it have the movie still have the joyful, happy, uh, you know, celebratory um, ending. You know what I mean? Like it, it yeah. you, you, you want to really be true to that experience and how hard that is and, and in some cases painful. And then also like have it be celebrated and joyous. Yeah, well, you know, you mentioned that you are a big fan of, of Christmas movies, holiday movies. I'm curious, in the buildup to, to writing this or making it or even in the process, were there any holiday movies that you watched as inspiration? Or were you just sort of like, I don't want to watch anything <laughs> and have this like deter my own process? Did you watch like a bunch or were you just like close yeah. up? I mean, I some of them I just know so well just because I do watch them every year. Like, Home Alone is um, probably my my favorite holiday movie. Another one that we that I watch every year that we um, talked about when we were first talking about this movie was Family Stone. Yeah. Um, all these movies that that explore the idea of of coming back home for the holidays or coming into a new home for the holidays and and how can we like. Uh, really capture what that the spirit of that genre and the the really nuanced element of the family dynamics like I feel like Home Alone you know it's a big comedy but it's also I mean all the scenes with the family together and the chaos of it it feels so real and I think that's yeah. why people love it so much it's so relatable and uh it was important to us to capture that same kind of nuance of relationship in the family yeah totally. I thought Happiest Season was really relatable and I, I think you did like a great job of sort of uh, finding those funny specific moments of coming home for the holidays. Um, I'm curious though, how much of your family's tradition did you bring into that? Is that, is, is that family at all like your family? Exactly like your family? No, no. I, they're, they're, the only thing that I would say is similar is, and one thing that we really drew on in the writing of it was uh, the sister dynamic. I'm very close with my sister. I have an older sister. Uh, and an older brother and my sister and I are, are really close and growing up we were just at each other's throats <laughs> I feel like is the best way to put it we yeah. some of the worst fights I've ever been in in my life both physically and verbally <laughs> I've been with my sister did and you so we a, really did you ever have a painting just I don't know <laughs> over your head no, no. I, any painting I had, I knew right away it was trash. And so I threw it away. <laughs> um, any painting that I personally made. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm no artist, not like Jane. But, um, but yeah, the, the, the deeply ancient and personal and like raw feelings that a sibling can 
elicit in you, <laughs> like, and the behavior then that follows that, you know, when you're back in your childhood home, how you revert back to old patterns and old behavior yeah. and old, you know, ways of handling stimuli. Um, yeah, that, that was something we, I, we definitely drew from a lot of my personal experiences with my sister dynamic. It's, you know, it's sister funny. Movie. I'm sitting here thinking, I, this didn't occur to me when I was watching the movie, but because we're living through uh, unprecedented times. Sure. Um, <laughs> this, I, this is such a perfect movie for people to watch who like might not be able to go home this year for the holidays. You yeah, know? we'll, we'll bring all sad. the family drama you want. <laughs> I know, honestly, that's like an hour and a half is enough. Um, yeah. Uh, I do want uh, to wrap things up here, Mary, just to, to deviate from the movie just briefly. You're such a, a talented improviser and I've, I've watched you, God, countless times at, at UCB here in LA and oh, you're just so you. wonderful. I, I have to imagine though, these unprecedented times, it has to have been kind of difficult for somebody who is so used to performing and getting juice from a live audience. How are you sustaining yourself absolutely. creatively? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. I mean, I... I improvising and being the having the the privilege and the opportunity to perform weekly at this great theater that that got such great audiences and where like where I met my community was such a huge part of my life and to have that suddenly and I'm sure everybody's experiencing this on on different levels but have that suddenly be taken away it was really tough at first and and I think what I really found, and I was grateful to have had this experience of writing with Clea, is I think if you had told me like, oh, well, you can go write something in this time, I would have been like, well, no, I can't. Right, right. You can't just do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then everyone's like, like, yeah, I'm going to use this time to write a script. It's like, right. <laughs> okay, good for right. you. Right. <laughs> yeah, good for you, dude. Yes. But... I think writing with Clear really did make me feel very empowered and I learned so much from her, so much about how to tell a good story and the, the, uh, the, the level of um, attention to detail and like care and um, thought that it requires to like tell a good story. Uh, I learned a ton about that from writing with Clear and so I, I did like, write a bunch in this time in these last few months with with very I wrote a, a like horror comedy script with Betsy Sodaro and Maureen Barucha and then Lauren Lapkus and I are working on a project together and it's just been a very um it's been nice to channel that improv yeah. energy <laughs> into sure. uh yeah collaborating in that way yeah. Well, Mary, the movie's wonderful. Congratulations. You. you steal the show. The script is lovely. And uh, and the fact that it's just a, a, a queer story just makes it even better and more special. So congratulations on everything. And I can't wait Thank for you. people to see it. It's going to brighten up a, a lot of holiday seasons. I hope so. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time, Mary. Have a great rest Thank of your day. Thank you. Yes, you too. Nice talking to you. You too.